Hi, my name is Azina Rahman, Technical Marketing Engineer for Future Connectivity Solutions. Today we're going to unbox a Nebula board and create an example app using Cypress's software development environment, Wicked Studio. So today I have the Nebula board with me and included inside the box we have the Nebula user guide, I have a micro USB cable, and I have the Nebula board. So, on board, we have the Type 1 DX module, which is a combo Wi-Fi Bluetooth radio from Murata, and it houses the Cypress CYW4343W chipset. To program the board, we will use Wicked Studio 6.1. Wicked Studio is a full-featured platform with turnkey hardware solutions and software development kits to enable Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity in a system design. To develop an IoT application, you need a few things to make sure the application runs smoothly. You need to consider the different technologies your system is using, an integrated environment that combines multiple technologies such as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Your system needs to support the necessary IoT protocols such as HTTP, MQTT, RESTful, Web Services, and AMQP. You also need an integrated environment that offers connectivity to leading cloud services such as Amazon Web Services, IBM Bluemix, Alibaba Cloud, and Microsoft Azure. And most importantly, you need the flexibility to work with popular MCU vendors, such as Cypress, ST, NXP. Wicked Studio is the only platform that provides all of these features and enables ease of use. For today's demonstration, we will need the Nebula board, of course, a USB cable, Wicked Studio 6.1, a laptop with Windows, Mac, or Linux operating system, and a terminal emulator program, such as TerraTerm. So begin by powering on the board, and we will do this through the port labeled as USB debug. Power on the board. I'm using my laptop. And after initial power up, you'll notice that LED 1 and LED 2 should flash alternatively in red and green. So now we know we have a functioning board, so let's begin. So for today's example, we will create an application snippet that scans for nearby Wi-Fi access points. I'm going to open up my Wicked Studio 6.1. And let's begin. So, all right, let's uh, open up our Wicked Studio. To give you a brief tour, this drop down button allows us to choose between the Bluetooth and Wi Fi devices. As the wireless radio on Nebula is a combo Wi Fi and Bluetooth solution, we will choose the Wi Fi device. You'll find the Project Explorer on the left hand side of the window. You'll find the different appli example application um, through the demo and SNP folders. The demo folder contains advanced applications that combine multiple Wicked features. The SNP folder contains application snippets that use various Wicked APIs. Over here in the test folder, you'll find manufacturing and certification related test applications and utilities. In each folder, you'll notice there are readme.txt files, which contain more information about the contents of the respective folder. If we continue to scroll down the Project Explorer, you'll notice there's a folder called the Platform Folder. The Platform Folder contains information on the kit and are necessary to program a given project into the hardware that is used. The Platform Folder for the Nebula board is found under neb1dx underscore zero one. Continuing with our tour, the main window is called the editor. This is where you would edit your firmware. On the right hand side, we have the make target files. The make target file is used to build your application. On the bottom, we have the console window, which allows us to view the build output. And if you find yourself struggling, the help window contains hints. So now that we've covered the basics, let's begin. The first step is to create a new folder in the apps folder. So select the apps folder, right click on it, and then select new, then folder. And under folder name, let's put Nebula. The newly created folder will appear in the Project Explorer. The second step is to expand the SNP folder and copy the scan example into the Nebula folder we created in step one. Select it and right click the folder, select copy and now select the Nebula folder and hit Control V on your keyboard. In step three, 
we will rename our scan application folder. I'm going to rename mine to scan2. Select the newly pasted folder and press F2 on your keyboard. If you change the application folder name, you need to change the makefile name as well. Next, double-click the scan.c file and go into the editor to copy line 109. Paste it in the line above. Modify the text in between the blue quotations to customize it. I'm going to change mine to say, this is Lazina's scan application. Don't forget to hit save. Moving along, we want to build and run our application, and we need to create a make target file to do that. The easiest way is to copy an existing file and modify it to fit your application. So I'm going to select one that ends with download and run. Right click it and select the copy option. Press Ctrl V on your keyboard in the window. A window will pop up and here is where we can modify our target name. The naming convention for target files is new application folder dash target platform download download underscore apps and run. Thus in our case our make target file will be nebula.scan2 dash neb1dx underscore zero one download download underscore apps run. We only need to include download underscore apps if you expect the external flash to be updated. The Wi-Fi module firmware is a resource that's stored in the external flash and we need to manually update it. Next, to run the application, double-click on the newly created Make Target file. If you turn your attention to the console window, you'll see the build output. You'll receive a message indicating that your build was successful, assuming there are no problems. And finally, to view the results, open up a terminal program. I'm going to open up TerraTerm, select the appropriate COM port, and put in a baud rate of 115200. Eight bits for data, one bit for stop, and none for parity and control. I would just like to point out that you'll notice over here is the line we modified in step 3. And this is another way to ensure that our application built correctly. So each time the application scans, a list of Wi-Fi access points in range is printed to the UART. Well, this concludes our tutorial on creating an example application with Wicked Studio for the Nebula IoT Reference Design Board. For more information and to order the Nebula board, please visit us at futureelectronics.com or speak to your local Future Electronics representative.